Oh, good morning, bro. Good morning. Get it in. What's up, homie? What time just, are you? Just a weak guy over here. Just a dad bot. What does it say? Become a fighter? <laughs> I like that shirt. You ready to go to Powell? No. We got about 25 days. Then Powell. That's what we're getting ready for. Lake Powell. <laughs> Gotta get my shred on, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hey. Not every day do you come over and see a big grill on the floor. It's literally almost every day you do, actually. That is also true. <laughs> Shout out to Watson. Watson dumbbells. I'm gonna actually put them in this link. We just got this shipment in yesterday. Fat grips with spinners. You know, when your dumbbells roll on dubs, Dumbbells rolling on dubs. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool because it spins and like in like if you have a gangster car It spins and you're rolling on dubs. I don't know. Huh? Dubs are 20s 20 inch rims rolling on dubs yeah, the spinners yeah. so, so you know exactly what it means. Right, but I'm saying like <laughs> it doesn't really make sense because no, those aren't 20 pound dumbbells oh, I mean, yeah. they're still spinners but yeah. if it was gonna make sense that they have a 20 pound dumbbell but roll on dubs what our days consist of is waking up nice and early. Woke up this morning at 5.30. It's now about 6.30 because we have to move a couch. Stretch, work out, go to work. Today is a speed lower body day. Starting off with some sumo deadlifts. Now that we've activated glutes, we've warmed up, we've done some single arm, single arm uh, kettlebell snatches to warm up that central nervous system, we now have speed squats. So our superset with our banded speed squat. We're doing three reps there. We're supersetting that with some seated box jump. So we're gonna be in a seated position and jump up. Jake's gonna show you that right now. All right, next up we got explosive speed box step up. So kettlebells or dumbbells in your hand. And watch how explosive this is. As fast as you can, bro. All right, Jake's gonna show you a single cycle jump from depth. So we have the box here. And he's gonna be stepping off of it, creating as much force off the ground, cycle jump, and then landing. Oh, back in business. Okay. Hey, bro. I'm back in business, man. What, because you got the fuzzy mic? No, this mic broke, and then now it's fixed. Ah. Uh. Do I sound Polynesian, man? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no? Are you Maori? No? I don't think so. Nah, damn it. All right, I'm gonna go work on my accent a little bit. Hey, good chatting with you. I'm gonna vlog today. I'm gonna try to vlog. So, welcome to my vlog. It's Friday, February 16th. Just kidding, I just made up that day. It's Friday, June? It's June already, boys. You know what that means? Summer Sizzle pre-registration is now live. You see that plug? Was that good? Was that good? Good plug? Okay. We do have our Summer Sizzle running, but that's not actually why I wanted to vlog today. I wanted to vlog because it's been a while and I just wanted to say hi and feel like I, you know, need to get to, to know you guys. What I first need though right now... I got a new bottle of them. Oh, some Zyrtec, because allergies here in St. George are killing me, man. And then what I like to... Huh? I popped two this morning. You did? Two. Maybe a lot more. You know what I like to do? I like to wash it down with a nice cold bottle of vodka. Zyrtec's good stuff. Wait, did you do this too? Like that? Come on, bro. You just put it from your fucking mouth back into the bottle. No, I didn't. Yeah. No, that went in my watch mouth. Watch the video. I'm to watch that replay back. Did any fall back into the bottle? It was on your lips back into the bottle. Oh, bro. Don't act like we don't share protein shakes all the time. <laughs> all right. Good talk. I'm going to go get some work done. It's happy, happy to be in here this morning. Got a lot of good shit going on. It's leg day. 
working on a lot of core. So we started with like a Turkish get up walk. Um, we have back extensions. We're just gonna let that B-roll hit it. We're gonna let that B-roll get what we're doing in here today because I'm gonna be honest, I just wanna work out. I wanna work out and focus on the workouts. I'm gonna have Jason film this. It's about 80 degrees in here. I like a gym that's hot. I don't like a gym that's cold. Like 90% of the time, I wanna sweat my ass off in the gym. 99% of the time. So, Jake's already killing it. I'm, I'm following his lead this first round and then I'll be doing the second round of stuff. Higher rep stuff today. Um, kind of training around lower back issues. You ready? Let's go. quite finished. We got some 400s to run around the building. It's a balmy. How hot do you think it is outside? Can I interject real quick? Can you interject? Steve, we're, not in a, we're not in a courtroom. Steve literally went upstairs and like played some Xbox. Notice how I'm drenched in sweat and he hasn't even broken a sweat. He splashed that water under his nipple right See, there. See, for those of you guys that are new to the channel, you might believe that. But if you guys have been following me for quite some time, there's a lot of comments about how I just don't sweat as much. And my sweat actually smells like potpourri. It's a weird phenomenon. And it's come to my attention that in the courtroom you object. Jake did said, can I interject? This is like uh, English class in here to you. Not only get your ass kicked by him physically, emotionally, he just tears you up and we break a mental sweat as well. I'll bring the best out of you. Oh, I interject to that. <laughs> All right, do your thing. My dude's insane, so the weather app said it was 95. That's not on asphalt. Asphalt's about 105 right now. One time around, the building's parking lot's 400. Sometimes falling, Jake, is uh, a hazard to your health. So we need to get a oh, that was awful. This is literally our conversation inside. It was like five minutes ago. I'm like, damn, I can't see straight. I'm so dizzy from working out. Jake's like, you want to go run some 400s? Yeah, bro, I'm dizzy. I want to go run outside when it's 105. You know what he said to me? Don't put the pussy on the pedestal. I don't even know what that means, but I'm like, okay, bro. It sounds like a really good saying. Let's go run some more outside in the heat. I want to pass out and hit my head on the concrete. Whew. Good job. Hey. Oh, sorry to even slap your hand. I told him about how you told me, yeah, let's go run after I said I'm dizzy. Yeah. He'll be all right. It's good for him. Build some toughness. He's getting soft. All that traveling's making him soft. We call it soft as baby poo. He needs to be growing ass man poo, you know? Having shit in a week kind of poo. That really rock hard just after surgery. Just keep popping perfect set type of poo. That's the kind of poo you want to be. That's the type of poo that Jason is. 
just out here trying to be, nah, if I say addicted to meds, poo, it probably wouldn't go hard. <laughs> Never mind. It's too much. Be like, oh, f Jake. Jake thinks it's cool to take painkillers. That's one. I'm, I'm so tired, I can't even think right now. I'm not that tired. F now I'm baby poo. Now I'm baby poo, Jason. It's a temperature, man. Shit. It's a temperature. All the way in. Oh. Oh. Good job. Ice bath. Oh, I wish we had one right now. I would lay down. This is like 200 degrees. It's about 83 degrees. I'm really cool. So. Well, oh, I was gonna talk to you guys after working out, but just I didn't want I didn't want to talk. I didn't want to do anything. Um, I actually took a stress test yesterday. Uh, just a lot like a lot of stuff going on in life the last year, and just haven't been feeling like myself. Just been feeling. So I got my testosterone checked. It was like mid sixes, which isn't awful. It isn't great, but it isn't awful. My CK levels were really high creatine kinase um, and they were concerned with that so I did a stress test and I, I just think it's like suffering from decision fatigue so like decision I'm awful with decisions decisions are like what to do with the business what to do with the supplement company what to do like you know YouTube social media you know clothing streetwear clothing line all these things that I want to do but like we don't have I guess the resources the personnel to do that so I'm trying to wear a lot of hats. Jake's trying to wear a lot of hats. Jason, everyone who works, you know, at fitness culture is trying to do a lot with programming and everything else. And um, what ends up happening is I don't concentrate on what I do best, and that's interacting with people, uh, meeting people, putting out content that's fun, staying in shape, and then I get more stressed out. So that, on top of just life stresses, moving, um, having family issues, things like that, definitely feel unhealthy. How do you make life simpler? How do you trust people? How do you get people in positions? And you know, we're going to be actually putting it out there on my social media, like I am right now, for uh, you know, designers. For I need uh, somebody who has you know project management skills. So if, if those, if you have you know a background in marketing, a background in business, and you're looking for a change. Like, you know, St. George, we're wanting to build this team in St. George, Utah, so that's another criteria. You'd have to be willing to move to St. George. And, you know, if you're a beast, you'll get to work out with us. If not, I can't guarantee you anything. But uh, a lot of cool opportunities. So how do you minimize the decision-making processes? And I think it's about cutting out, you know, decisions that don't matter. Like, so I get up in the morning, I do the exact same thing. So this weekend, I took time to create a schedule. The schedule that consists of, I'm going to wake up at the same time of the day, I'm going to go through my morning routine, whether it's meditating, taking the dog out, eating breakfast, taking my supplements, doing everything the same day in and day out, just like I would on a show prep. You know, competing's stressful because you're at a caloric deficit for so long. Dieting is stressful. But the actual process of going to bed, eating the same thing, training at the same time, drinking the same amount of water, taking your subs, it's actually kind of therapeutic for me because it allows me to then free my mind. Like I know like I'm not gonna have to make a lot of decisions. I typically, you know, like where to eat. You have a set schedule and you, you follow that. So this weekend, created a schedule, um, an eating program, a, and it's kind of in, in line perfectly with our summer sizzle. Um, it's a six week program that starts, oh, the enrollments, pre-enrollment starts now. Um, but enrollment and starts the 11th and then the program starts the 25th the winner is gonna get a trip with us to Australia But I'm gonna be doing it as well And we're working out every day pretty much from 12 till 2. That's our workout time We work from 9 till 12 in the morning. I get to go through my routine if I want to go to yoga I go to yoga if I want to just meditate at home I do that play with the dog I kind of use that time in the morning to set myself up mentally to do whatever I feel like is most important and then uh, I get home at the end of the day you know, in the afternoon after I work out, that's the time to get back to emails. Emails can wait. You know, emails, phone calls, returning phone calls, those types of things can wait. Seven o'clock then is kind of like put the phone away, wind down, try to be in bed by 9, 30, 10, and wake up and do it all over again. And I think this is the best way to de-stress. Um, also, the biggest thing I, I think, and this goes for a lot of people out there, what is your vision? We've talked about this before. What is your vision with where you want your life to be? What do you want to do? What do you, and you work backwards from that goal. If your vision is to be the, the best bodybuilder ever, well, you you know, when it comes to your resources, you know, when it comes to what you do with your life, you're not going to be out drinking all the time. If your vision is to be the best at business, if your vision is to be the best, whatever it is, clear cut vision and work back from that. And then that will, you know, then you'll allocate more time and resources towards that goal 
and ultimately you have to sacrifice more things in order to get to that goal. So right now, ask yourself, you know, what is my long-term play? Relationship-wise, business-wise, you know, goals with health, goals with fitness, and work back with that. And then ask yourself, what could I be doing in my day-to-day? -day? What resources I, do I have? And what could I be doing in my day-to-day -day in order to make sure that that's happening? And that's kind of what I had to do and focus in on, on with my life. And I realized, you know, like, the most important thing sh to me should be working out and getting out good content. I can't do that if I don't have a set schedule. I can't do that if my brain is so scattered with business plans and everything else that I want to do. It's like put people in those positions that you want to have succeed. Spend this, you know, three hours every day working on that, four hours every day working on that. And then, you know, when it's time to go work out, it's time to go work out. So if I'm in the gym working out and I seem like I don't want to talk, it's just because I know I have a set two hours in the gym. And if I don't get my, my stuff done in there, that's on me. And I don't get a, you know, I, I got to go on then to the next part of my day. Um, so I think it's just, it, 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 you kind of plant your flagpole. But anyhow, that's my rant for the day. You know, that being said, we got a lot of exciting things. These aren't bad problems. There's good stress and bad stress in your life. And, you know, chronic stress is bad when you don't make any decisions. You just sit there and you kind of just, I don't know what to do. Should I do this or that? Sometimes either decision is good. It's about making the best out of, you know, the best decision. There's no wrong decision. It's just making the better of two good decisions. So um, sometimes I have to remind myself with that and just jump in. Anyhow, if you guys are going through this, just, you know, maybe even research decision fatigue. And if you feel like you're going through that, read up on some of those tips. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. That workout was a doozy. Hopefully you guys liked us putting the workout beforehand. And uh, we'll see you guys. See you soon. I'm going to go recover from that.